in this video I'd like to take a look at the grid method of multiplication. Now there's various methods to carry out your multiplication and there's a couple of grid methods but there's one particular grid method that I think is the better of the two. So let's go through this with one calculation and then you can have a practice. First of all let's look at the calculation that we want. We've got 342 multiplied by 524. So the first thing to do is to draw your grid. Okay, so you need to draw a grid so that you can put the numbers 342 in and 524. So let's just draw the grid. There's your grid there. And now we need to put the numbers in. So we want to put the 3 and then the 4 and then the 2 at the top and then down on the right hand side you want to put the 5, 2, 4. So we've got 342 across the top and 524 going vertically down the right hand side and now it's important to put this on the right hand side because I know that the other grid system that is often taught you put that on the left but we're putting it on the right it's really important for this one so now all we need to do is draw some diagonals going across this grid so let's draw these diagonals in so it's quite important to draw your grid so that it's nice and square this is the only difficult part believe it or not is making sure that your squares are nice and even and you've got nice even diagonals going through the grid then this is now as simple as doing some e easy multiplications across the grid so the first one you can see it's two at the top multiplied by five at the side the answer to two times five is ten so you always put your tens in the top half of the diagonal and your units in the bottom half the, of the diagonal. So the answer 10 goes in there. Then we move down and we've now got two times two. If there is no tens, always put a zero. So two times two is four. So there's no tens and we just put the four in there. Then we move down to the next one and that's two times four, which is eight. And again, we put the zero and then the eight. Now let's move across to the next column. Four times five is 20. So we put the two in the tens and the zero in the units. Just write it as you would normally write it, but just split it across that diagonal. Let's move down to four times two, which is eight, and then move down once more. Four times four is 16. So you can see this method, you're only doing very simple multiplications. Let's move across to that final column. Three times five is 15. And then three times two is six. And then three times four is 12. So there's our grid all completed. So now all we do is starting from the bottom right hand side, we've got to add the numbers up. Well, there's only one number in that first diagonal, that's eight. So we just pull that down and write that underneath. Then in the next diagonal, we want to add up the four, the zero and the six. So four add zero add six is 10. Now this is the important thing. To put 10 down here, you put the zero because there's no units and you carry the one from that 10 across to the next diagonal. Can you see that small blue one I've put there. So there's your 10. And when we do the next diagonal, we include that as the number one. Okay, we don't read that as 12 that's in there. It's just zero, add zero, add eight, add one, add two, and then add one again. So let's do that. So eight plus one is nine, plus two makes 11, and Adding that extra one makes that 12. So again, we need to carry 
that one over into that other diagonal, into the next diagonal, and put the two down. So that one and the two is your 12, okay? So now we add up the next diagonal, which is one plus zero plus zero plus six plus one plus one. So the red ones there come to eight, that's six, plus one is seven, plus one is eight, and we mustn't forget that one that we've moved across or carried across. So that makes nine. Let's move to the next diagonal. So two plus five plus zero is seven. So we write seven down. And then in that final one, we've only got one figure. So that's number one. So now your actual answer is reads from the top down on those blue ones we put there. So there's the way you do it. Start from the one, seven, nine, two, zero, eight. So let's put those in, one, seven, nine, two, zero, eight. And that is your answer. So let's just have a look at that. We've got 342 multiplied by 524, that equals 179,208. And it is as easy as that. It's much, much easier, I think, than most of the other methods. And as I've said at the beginning, the, probably the most difficult part of this is actually drawing your grid nice and square so those diagonals line up correctly across all of your grid. So hopefully that helps you. Have a go at that. Give yourself a few calculations and then perhaps check it on the calculator to make sure you've done it correct. And good luck with it. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe I'm going to be doing a few maths ones on here but there's a lot of Excel spreadsheets and Microsoft Office tutorials as well so good luck yeah.